Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're finally going to be installing yet another car product. If you guys do not know what Cobb is, it is an automotive engineering company that helps you improve your vehicle in many different ways. They do make stuff from Volkswagen, Subarus, Porsche, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Mazda, BMW, and Ford as well. But in today's video, we're going to be installing their Cobb Stage 1 drivetrain. Uh, this, did, this did came up to like $230 guys, so it is a little bit pricey in my personal opinion. Uh, I did have a 1998 Honda Civic EX Coupe, and I ended up installing a short throw shifter under as well. That came up to like $20, so that's why I think that this is a huge price difference from Subaru and Honda guys. So, like I said, we are going to be installing this today. I am going to be also wanting to compare the old pieces to the new pieces, but let's get straight to it. Okay guys, so with the Cobb Stage 1 package, what you're going to be getting is going to be the rear, the front bushings, and then you're going to get the short throw shifter as well. There is a most expensive package that comes up to like $290 guys, but that comes with the with the shift knob, and I personally don't like the way that Cobb, uh, the way that Cobb shifters look, so I am going to be getting a different manufacturer shifter, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and unbox, the, unbox these for you guys. Okay guys, so... Like I said, you are going to be getting three different packages, so let's start unboxing these out. So if you guys are looking to get any of the products that you guys seen on my channel that is related to Cobb, you guys can just go ahead and go to CobbTuning.com and you guys can find any of their products over there. But with the first box, we're going to be getting two bolts, we're going to get the front bushings, and then we're going to get some oil on there to basically rub the you're gonna get some basically some lube to put on there guys you do also get some stickers with the packages so I'm probably gonna be putting on this I'm probably gonna be putting these on my car soon so that's gonna be the front bushings you're gonna get also the rear bushings on there guys like I said they do include stickers so or should I call them decals but these are gonna be the rear bushings you're also gonna get the little bolt that goes in between these and then more lube more lube so, last but not least, you're going to be getting this Cobb Show Throw Shifter Box. It does have an adjustable size, guys. So, if you guys wanted to ride high or low, you guys can adjust it on your own. Me, personally, I think I'm going to have it a little lower than what I usually do. Just because I want to see how that feels. So, you're also going to get some more decal stickers on here. You're going to get a little tool to help you adjust the height. And then you're going to get these two bearings are basically going to go in here to help you put the OEM gaskets the OEM bushings in here guys so I know I'm not making a lot of sense guys but once we get straight to it I hopefully I get to explain it in more detail so let's go ahead and put this on the car okay guys so the first step is we're gonna be removing two screws that are gonna be inside the middle console Okay guys, so after we remove those two bolts inside the middle console, what we're going to do now is we're going to basically pop out the top center of the middle console. After we remove this side, we're going to be removing this right here. And then that's where we're going to get access to the short throw through the shifter in there. So let's go ahead and do it right now. A little tip is have it in first gear and then have your e-brake uh, move it so that you're able to actually get this out. You're also going to have a couple sensors under the dash so don't just pull it all out uh, put it uh, just basically remove it and after you get a little bit of access to go under the console just remove those two uh, sensor clips so let's go ahead and do that real quick Alright guys, so now that we got the center console out, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be able to get access into removing the stock shifter, but uh, one of the things that I'm noticing about my car guys is that it's really dirty inside this middle console, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick wipe down and just get all that debris out. After that, we'll continue with the install. 
Okay guys, so now that we got the center console out, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing a bolt and the screw that is going to be basically holding in the shift knob. After we do that, there's going to be a sick clip under the, the shift knob right here. So what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to basically use this uh, guarding stamp to basically help me remove that just because I don't have any sick clip uh, pliers. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay guys, so we got that bolt and screw out. Now what we're gonna be doing is, like I said, we're gonna be trying to remove that seat clip real quick. Okay guys, so before you remove, you try to and remove that seat clip, what we're gonna be doing is, there's gonna be a little hole in here, and you wanna use a little puncher to basically get that little bolt out. I'll show you guys what I mean once I get it out. It's gonna be that little clip right there so it's literally just a little bolt that's well it's not even a bolt it's just something that's basically staying in there to keep it in place so you do not want to lose this because we are going to be using this on the new shifter so let me just put this aside So now with that, we should be able to remove this reverse um, wire. So after we do that, we're gonna try and remove that C clip that I was telling you guys about earlier. Okay guys, so it looks like I am gonna have to go to the hardware store and find some C clips uh, pliers. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're finally back. Uh, I ended up going to the hardware store, like I said, and I bought this uh, C clip plier. So what we're gonna try and do now is we're gonna remove that clip after we do that remove that clip we're just gonna literally pop the shifter out after we pop the shifter out what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the old parts into the new short throw shifter so let's go ahead and do that real quick <laughs> Okay, so that C clip is out. Now what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're just gonna push up like butter, guys. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be transferring all the old pieces into the new pieces. So, I mean the old pieces into the new shifter. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. Now that we got the old shifter out, we're gonna be transferring some of those things into the new shifter. So the first things we're gonna be switching over is gonna be this clip, and then we're gonna be transferring this joint right here as well. One of the things that I did forget to mention guys is that we got to grease this little ball joint right here. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna be transferring, it's gonna be the bushings are gonna be right here. After we remove those two bushings from the stock shifter, we're gonna be transferring them into the new short throw shifter. Uh, Cobb does give these um, extra bushings to help you basically uh, fit them in place, but from what I've seen is that these fit right into here without needing any of these. So let's go ahead and do that real quick.
Okay, so now that that's in there, what we're gonna be transferring now is gonna be the shifter and the reverse lockout mechanism. So you're gonna have two screws on the bottom of the shifter. We're just gonna unscrew those and then put those in the new one. So before I remove this last screw, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and remove the shifter real quick. So now that the shift knob is going to be out, we're just going to be transferring the reverse mechanism into the new cop shifter. So that's pretty much the process of moving all those old stuff into the new shifter. So what we're going to be doing right now is I'm just going to finish screwing in those bolts. After we do that, we're going to go under the car and then we're going to assemble the rear and the front bushings. So let's get straight to it. Okay guys, so the shifter is finally inside the car. It already feels way better than what it used to feel like and that's without the bushings. We still got to go under the car guys and then put those on there. But like I'm saying right now, the car does feel very stiff and smooth uh, all the gears are going into place even reverse but like I said I, the car does feel way better just with the shifter itself I did end up finding my brother's 2016 STI uh, shift knob so I went ahead and put that on my car it does feel way better as well than what I have I had like a plastic OEM one this one's like titanium so it does feel a little heavier and smoother but Right now what we're going to do is we're going to go under the car guys and then we're going to finish installing the rest of the parts. Okay guys so the car is on jack stands now. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the front bushings first which should be, oh this is the rear. Which is going to be these two right here. So if you guys go under the car it's going to be under the car as you're going to see them in the driver's side they're gonna be located by the drive shaft so let me show you guys really quick where it is so it's gonna be those bushings right there guys we're gonna have to remove the bolt that's connected there that basically holds everything in place after you remove those bolts we're gonna be taking off the bushings and replacing them with the new ones so right now I'm gonna set you guys on a tripod and I'm gonna remove those bolts real quick Okay guys, so I'm having trouble with the bushings right there, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to try and remove the ones on the rear. So those are basically going to be the ones ones over here guys. So if you guys are able to see them. So I'm going to remove that bolt and the bolt on the other side. There's two of them and then hopefully I'm able to remove the whole assembly. That way I can just pull it out and do it outside. So let me try and do that real quick okay guys so i finally got the basically this mechanism that helps you put it in gears so with the kit what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be replacing the bushings in the back i already went ahead and took these out i ended up using a flathead screwdriver to help me remove those but we're going to put the new ones in right now also uh, we're gonna have the rear bushings that are gonna go in through this end right here. We also gotta loop both of these, uh, both of these bushings up, guys. But little tip is, I ended up having to take up that whole thing again, guys, just because of that little C clip that was in there. So you gotta remove the clip to be able to take this whole thing out. So that was just my way of doing it. There might be other ways, but that was the easiest way for me to do it. So right now I'm just gonna transfer all those things into the. Uh, link right now, so let's go ahead and do that So Cobb does give us these two new bolts. So those are the ones we're gonna be replacing 
Uh, this is gonna be the old one and this is gonna be the new one. Uh, the comparison is very big guys. It's honestly way stiffer, way, way better in my opinion. We have some more bushes in here and here we only have screws so there is an extra amount of uh, safety on this guys as well. So hopefully there is a huge difference on this. With the bushings guys, you do get a new uh, inner adapter. So that's dope. I thought I had to reuse the old one, but I guess I don't. And this is made out of rubber when this is made out of like a really strong uh, plastic acrylic type of stuff. So let's go ahead and just transfer those into the new one. So there we go. So now the only thing that's left to do is we're going to screw screw it in from this end. After that, we're going to reattach, reattach the bushing that connects to the shifter. And then we should, should be all good to be driving, guys. So let's get straight to it. Okay, guys. So the car is now off jack stands. We're going to go for a little drive. Uh, I'm meeting up with a couple friends so that we can go for a little cruise. It is around 10 at night right now. So like I said, we're going to go for a little cruise. We're going to test out the new shifter. And I also have the GoPro ready for you guys as well. So let's get on the road. All right, guys, the first drive of the night. The shifter does feel way better, guys. It is a night and day difference. But like I said, we're going to go for a little drive. We're actually going to test it out. And we're going to meet up with some friends, probably do some pools. But I'll see you guys on the road. All right, guys, so my personal opinion about this install is it did take longer than I expected. It is a pain in the ass trying to get those two bushings uh, back in the car. It is easier to remove than it is to put back. But so far, the car feels so much smoother. I know this isn't adds any horsepower, but it does make me want to drive the car even more, guys. But I'm going to turn off the GoPro for right now, guys, just to save some battery because I do want to get some footage of us doing either some pulls or just driving along with the boys. But I'll see you guys as well when we get with them. So stay tuned. For right now, I'm just going to probably end the video right here, guys. I might put some clips of us doing some pulls in the channel. But if you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to also leave a comment. Turn on that notification to know when I post more videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.